Lindsay.
You had yourself quite a time last night, Sergeant. Sir? I say you had your hands full. Yes, sir, Well, We're pretty hard to miss. Yeah. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not hearing too well. That's understandable. You did a fine job. Sir. So did they. Now, I suggest you go on back and get yourself some, uh, some hot chow and coffee. That's the end of it? Well, it lasted quite a spell. We must be getting old. We're smart. It's like furniture polish. No one's got a gun to your head. Well, well it's the only game in town. Sergeant Connell. What's your trouble? Colonel Baseman wants you at HQ. He said to bring your gear. What gear? My extra skin? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you what they said. Well, you told him now, boy. Now shove off. <laughs> so funny. What's funny? <laughs> Come on, Gil. You know something? No, no, it caught me flat. Listen, get your gear on. I'll walk you over there. <laughs> What's it all about? Listen, I don't know a thing. I'm just a gunnery sergeant. Yeah, yeah. This is right here. You know all the dope before it happens. You really want to keep the beast waiting? <laughs> here, and I'd suggest one here, OK? Yeah, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, that's fine. It's well. OK. But... Colonel wanted to see me? Yeah, I do. Come on in, Sergeant. Come in. Uh, at ease. Yeah. As I just having a little uh, hair clip here. You know, I hate it when that white fuzz starts to, to spread out. Uh, that's a problem apparently you're not going to be trouble with. No, sir. How long have you been in the Corps, Sergeant? A little over seven years. You're a 30 year man, huh? If I'm lucky. You know, Sergeant, this. Uh, this war has been real tough on my platoon leaders. I'm short four of them right now. So, uh, pin them on, Lieutenant. Sir? I just made a second lieutenant out of you. I know it's a come down from a uh, platoon sergeant, but then uh, we all have to make sacrifices. It's official. The papers are on their way from division. Well, if it's all the same to the Colonel, I wouldn't want to leave my outfit. We well, see what you want and what I want. Uh, have very little to do with it. Jack, you know, this war is just getting started. A lot of people, or should we say some of the people back in the States, haven't the slightest comprehension as to what it's all about. Now, Washington headquarters, hell, the War Department would like some way, somehow, to enlighten those people. One week from today, you are being given the Congressional Medal of Honor in Washington. They're going to hang a medal around your neck, put you in a cage, ship you around the country, and let the defense workers have a peek at a real live hero. How's that strike you? Damn it, Colonel, I'm just not that kind. Uh, Major, would you help him put on those bars? I, I, I hate a man who's out of uniform. Socky makes you dress backwards. Got my leggings on wrong. Okay. Those look good on you. Let me be the first. I'll knock it off. Louse. 
knew about it all the time. Well, I'd have heard a little scuttlebutt. Man, oh, man, the States. You realize how many lonesome dames there are back there? Huh? Yeah, well, I'll try and find out and let you know. Good. You give me much of a choice. Who needs a choice? You got it made. I just get used to the stinking place. Well, you'll get used to Washington. Force yourself. <laughs> Take care, Jack. Yeah, well, they'll get on to me pretty quick. I'll be back. You keep your head down here. Ain't no one gonna beat me out of my beer ration. Shove off, Matt. Yes, sir. Call me, sir. Submitted by your commanding officer, Colonel Baseman, and recommended to the Congress of the United States and approved by them. It is with the greatest pleasure that I present to you this medal, the nation's highest honor, which you have earned through your distinguished service to your country. Thank you, Mr. President. Lieutenant, gentlemen, I assure you that this is one ceremony that I enjoy profoundly. And uh, if Fala doesn't seem to echo my sentiments, it's only because he's Scotch and taciturn. <laughs> and now I'll release you to the press with a word of warning. Sometimes they are harder to face than the enemy. <laughs> They just flew in and they are tired. You can have all your personal interviews later. Right at this time, they would like me to say something on their behalf, and that is that they are unhappy to be leaving their units, but quite naturally, they're glad to be back home. Well, just tell us why they brought them home. War Department dreaming up something. Yeah, they're going back to combat. Not now. They've had their share of the fighting. They're going to be turning the country for the Treasury Department selling war bonds. Right Come on. Right. 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 Come on, give them a break. Come on, Jack. What's your good word? Uh, well, it's good to be home. I'm just glad to be home. That's all, fellas. We're late now. Come on, we're going to I think that at least has some dames in the welcoming committee. Be plenty on tour. Yeah, but what am I going to do about tonight? Hi, right, gentlemen. Glad to see you're all ready. Miss Sanford? Thank you, Captain. Hey, buddy! Gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Well, you've got it. My name is Peggy Sanford. I'll be with you on the tour in charge of schedules, hotel reservations, appearances, that sort of thing. Sort of a non-commissioned flunky. Any questions? Yeah, I got one. What are you doing tonight? Sleeping, Lieutenant, the same as you. You'll be tired. We're flying to Pittsburgh this afternoon and then to Detroit and Chicago. Thank you. Here are your copies of the schedule. Any more questions about the tour? No? Fine. Then we'll assemble downstairs in the main lobby at 1,200 hours. Your luggage has already been processed. Thank you, and I'll be seeing you later. Good-looking check. Not bad. She shot you down pretty fast. Give me time. Old Navy saying, I have not yet begun the fight. Yeah, well, I don't think she's your type. Maybe yours? Could be. Fifty bucks is on the guy she goes for. You're on. You better pay me now. Unless, of course, the young lady is fresh out of patriotism. Hedging already, huh? Would you like to make it a hundred? No, no. Fifty suits me fine. Thank you, sir.
going somewhere. All the high shine, right? Right. <laughs> Happy landing. Miss Sapper? You look so lonely, and I thought perhaps I could cheer you up. Well, if you really want to make me happy, you can go back to your own seat. Look, this is going to be a long haul, and uh, we're going to be together anyway, and I thought maybe, yes. Uh... I know what you thought, Lieutenant. No deal. Look, believe me, if you get to know me better, I'm really... Believe me, Lieutenant. I do know better. Oh, come on. Goodbye. Dame's an American. She is fresh out of patriotism. Okay, lover, you try. Good time. Are you scared? No, it's more like you'd say, uh, careful. up first class. Nothing but the best for our boys in uniform. Glad you feel that way about it. Let's keep it. Well, Lieutenant. <laughs> Just call me Jack. Just call me Miss Sanford. Ouch. Hey. Does it have to be all work in Pittsburgh? They're sending you out there to sell war bonds. Well, I know, but all work and no play makes Jack a washout. Can't we have a little fun? Haven't you heard? There's a war on. No kidding. People shooting at each other and everything like that? Hey, how about dinner tonight? Oh, very well, Lieutenant. At the hotel. All of us. your 50, tens or fives. With a lot of people together, well, they could do almost anything. You could do it. Keep buying war bonds. And now that fighting Marine, the hero of Guadalcanal, the pride of the Corps, Shanghai Jack Cannell. Go ahead, Marine. It's just another landing. Well, I don't know. I... I got, I got some, some notes, notes here I'm supposed to, uh, read, read from. from. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I'm too scared to read them. <laughs> I've been wanting to tell you that was a good talk today. They liked it. Put some one up on me. No, really. It was almost professional. That part about being scared. I was scared. Well, you managed to hide it pretty well. I had a lot of things pretty well. Why don't we talk about it over dinner tonight? A hot dog. Cherry Coke. You're persistent. Yeah, well, that's the first thing they teach us in boot camp. Concentrate on the objective. Well, maybe some other time.
I can't add much to uh, what the others have said. Ruby the Riveter, Rosie the Riveter, two little girls doing their all for this great country of ours and this noble fighting man. Ladies, Lieutenant Jack Cannell. Hi. <laughs> oh, baby, you. You're hurting the wham bam, aren't you? <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Get the trash, get off the dime. I got reservations in the dump. You won't believe. Sounds <laughs> great. Okay, now, Russ. Liquor's probably the worst in San Francisco, but the drinks are fat big. Mm, I just love it. Come on. Not tonight. Maybe tomorrow? Tomorrow we'll be in Seattle, you dope. The strike when the iron's hot. And we're going to get two hotter irons than this. Search me, but uh, tonight I got plans. Oh, come on. Not really. Okay, girls. The air corps and the army are down the hall. <laughs> Hall's a long way, just one for the road. Negative. Negative. Come on. We're going on an operation together. Okay, I'll drink my own booze. Come on, girls. <laughs> Hey, I'm across the hall, just in case. Look, I don't want you to get the wrong impression, but you're the only girls I've ever had in my room. Lieutenant, won't you come in? I am in, thank you. Thought we'd have a little drink. Well, you thought wrong. In fact, you couldn't have thought more wrong. Oh, come on now. One little drink isn't gonna... I agree completely. So why don't you go have your little drink with Lieutenant Overman and his latest well, I'd collection? I'd rather stay here. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I'm just not your type. Well, if you think those little butterflies on a You're hall are my type... You're a healthy young animal, so go find a girl and howl. Yeah. What kind of dame are you, anyway? I'm not that hard to take. You like me, I know you do. You don't know anything about me, I not anything at all. I know you're young and human. Don't tell me you've never been kissed before. Not by a strong-armed, big-headed lout who thinks a medal on his chest gives him the right to grab. See, by some sweet-talking Alec had played it safe, huh? No, by the finest man I ever met. Had you hooked pretty good. What'd he use for bait? Something you wouldn't understand. A ring and a promise. And now... Well, look, just because one guy turned out to be a louse doesn't... He was an ensign on the Arizona. Killed at Pearl Harbor. Sables closed with Paris labels. Daddy, you ought to get the best from me. Here's an amazing revelation with a bit of stimulation. I'd be a great sensation. I'd be your inspiration. Daddy, I want a brand new car. Champagne. Gather all Daddy, Daddy, you ought to get the best of me. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> hey, want to dance? I'm a real good dancer. I don't know. It's kind of crowded. Hey, what's with you anyway? I mean, you know, you, you, you think I'm poison. That's you, baby. Me. I'm poison. My share, sir. I've been wanting to tell you something for days, I guess. Well, I'm sorry. You asking me to sit down? Thank you. you know, I think we have things to say to each other. Well, I suppose... Why don't we have dinner? Oh, I don't know. It's going to be a long day in Los Angeles. Lockheed, Douglas, the shipyards. I'll be tired. You still have to eat. Well, you're very nice to worry about my health. I'm just suggesting that. Huh? You know, a nightclub and some dancing. Come on, you owe yourself that much. You. September 1942. The war is young, but the Marines hanging on to their narrow perimeter are old beyond their years. Reinforcements have not yet arrived. Food and ammunition are running short. The outlook, grim. Hey, Sarge. Gunny coming. Ed Carnan, wouldn't you know? Okay, Shanghai? Couldn't be better. I, uh, I brought you some more grenades. You're all hurt, fella. Well, that comes from my mother's side of the family. Need anything else? Cold beer, a hot dame, a shower. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did promote a gallon of sake, though. We can knock that off when you get back. Good. This could be a bitch. For gunnery sergeants. Did you string wire out there? Yes, Grandma, and I hung some ration tins, too, and a few grenades. If they come, we'll hear them. If they come. They got a battalion, at least. Maybe you better haul it. If you get overrun, why, you hightail it back. We'll look out for you. 500 yards through an unfriendly neighborhood at night? Mm. Yell like hell. We'll let you through. 
Might be a long night. Something else you'll learn in the court. How to wait. There you are. Good night. Uh, Jeff. Want to come in for a nightcap? He twisted my arm. It just happens I keep a bottle for midnight visitors. For midgets? <laughs> You're lucky I have this. I saved it from the train. Here's looking at you, kid. No. Why not? I told you. This matter is it against regulations? You don't mean it. It's just all this. All this what? You want me there. Sure, I do. But that's not enough. I don't have anything else. You should do. You should do. You've got everything I want and everything I need. Vicky, I love you. I want you to marry me. I'm afraid. to tell you. I'm here. I'll always be here. Love me, Peggy. Love me like I love you. I do. That's why I'm afraid. Jack? The orders, I guess. Couldn't last forever. 
They might want to keep me here in New York. It's good duty, but it's not permanent. Proceed by your own transportation to Camp Pendleton. Better report to Colonel E.J. Baseman. He's my old CO. Commanding Officer, 1st Infantry Training Regiment. For further assignment. What will you be doing? Training troops for the Fleet Marine Force, I guess. And you won't be shipped out? Nice, cushy stateside job. <laughs> ah, read him a cheer, baby. From now on, we're garrison troops. Hey, we'll get a little house. You know, nothing much, a duplex or something. With any luck, right on the base. You'll love it. I know you will, Peg. I love you. I love you so much. If anything ever happened to you... Not today, not tomorrow. Not any day you can name. Uh, Lieutenant Canal. Good to see you, Colonel. Welcome to Camp Pendleton. Thank you, sir. You're looking fit, healthy. Yes, sir. Married life must agree with you. Yes, sir. You and your wife all situated? Like bees and clover. Good, good. Then we can put you right to work. Yes, sir. Colonel, uh, how were things when you left with the outfit, I mean? Well, rough, actually. The men were exhausted. The Army finally came in and relieved them, and then they were all sent down to New Zealand for a rest. Did you happen to see Ed Carnivan? I didn't happen. I, uh, I made it a point. To... He said to tell you to get your tail back down there. You know, he's having a little problem. Yeah. <laughs> he's trying to drink up all that sake by himself. <laughs> he's a good Marine. The best. That he is. And they'll all be on deck the next time we head to beach. Yeah. They don't miss much, do they? Would you like to be back with them? Oh, not me. No, I'm happy, married. I should have looked for trouble. I suppose some of us never get over it. Well, I'm looking forward to meeting your wife. Well, you like her, sir. She's a wonderful girl. No, 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 no. You just let me make up my own mind about that, huh? What about the two of you uh, having dinner with me at the club tonight? We'll consider that an order. Around 1900? We'll be on deck. Very good. Yesterday morning, that was a particularly good group. What was your opinion about it? I, I think... Uh... I feel like such a civilian. Worse for me, I'm still a sergeant at heart. Well, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. Doc? Colonel? My wife. Was I right? Well, report received and verified. He said you were pretty. Welcome aboard. Thank you, folks. Uh, let me uh, present you now to, uh, to the people. <laughs> Gentlemen, ladies, Lieutenant and Mrs. Jack Cannell. I very much agree with you. Welcome to Camp Pendleton. You'll be sorry. <laughs> I'll bet. Okay, now you'll all have an opportunity to get acquainted. Let's, uh, our table is right over here. Excuse me. Will you follow me? Glad to have you aboard. Thank you. Mrs., uh, we'll put the pretty girl right here in the middle, shall we? Good idea. Uh, now, uh... What would you like to drink? Uh, I recommend the bourbon uh, or rum, because bourbon and rum's all we've got. <laughs> Bourbon's fine. And Peg will have bourbon and water. Three bourbons and water. I'm curious about all this, uh, this public hero stuff. You've uh, grown adjusted to it. You take it right in stride, huh? I'll tell you the truth, Colonel. I was kind of scared at first, but I figured if that's what they wanted. He I... really did sell a lot of bonds. No, no need for a white voyage, Mrs. Canal. What he did was very important. You know, he used to be a nice, big, thick-skinned sergeant. Now he's, uh... <laughs> he's like a damn movie picture star, huh? <laughs> well, I suppose you can get used to anything, Colonel. Even training boots? Well, now, don't, don't minimize the low rate your job here, Jack. Because it's very important, the training of men here, or else those bonds you saw wouldn't be worth much. Well, now you'll have to route him out early in the morning. He's supposed to be with his group by, oh, 600. Oh, you don't waste much time. Are you married, Colonel? Yes, uh, yes, I'm married. Uh, my wife is in Virginia, in Quantico. Don't you approve of officers having their wives with them? Well, I, uh, I approve of you. I think that, uh, I think that you will be a big help. To a new marine wife 
and a new marine job. Success to both. Sergeant Slater. Good morning. Lieutenant Camel. All right, you people! Listen up! This is Lieutenant Connell! Morning, sir! Good morning. Fill me in, Sergeant. I told them to move down the hill, pick out a position, and dig a fighting hole on their own. Good grenade, sir. Very good. Guy and a dame, not two Marines. troops for the FMF, taking raw boots and trying to make them into Marines in six weeks. It's no cinch. But we do the best we can, but I'm not complaining. You guys get the short end of the stick. You have to take what we send and put your life in our hands. Believe me, we'd like to do more with them, but we don't have the time. The only thing I can promise you, this group will know their weapons and the fundamentals. I sure wish you could meet Peggy. She's got, but this is kind of personal. Will you, personal? All right, time to move out. Climbing hills again. The show? When you kissed me like that. I run the course again? Now that's the old Shanghai Jack. How'd it go today? We shipped out another batch this morning. And more coming in this afternoon? Yeah. Just kids. Sometimes I feel like the guy at the slaughterhouse, just poking them along the chute. Somebody has to get them ready. I suppose. From Mm-hmm. Thought it might pick you up. It's a nice surprise. like I was saying. The kids are good. They try real hard. But by the time we teach them how to stay alive, a lot of them aren't. What we need are some of you rear echelon commandos. Tell me more about that soft deal you've got. I could use a little of that or just an increase in my beer ration. He never did get enough beer. We used to match for it. He sends his best to you. You're going to like him, Peg. Not if he starts giving you ideas. What ideas? Jack, you wouldn't volunteer. 
Volunteer? For a change in assignment for combat duty. Honey, I'm a good Marine. I don't volunteer for anything. I'm a nice fat cat with a storybook wife. I'm not going to dump over any apple carts. <laughs> I had to be back at the base in 30 minutes. Send a runner to remind me. Oh, uh, Colonel. We were just having lunch. Won't you come in? I think Jack might rather be alone with you. I just got the latest casualty reports. Ed Carnivan on Bougainville two days ago. Oh, no, I... I just got a letter. What? Just now. Unfortunately, sometimes that's the way it happens. I'm sorry, Jack. Don't say that. Don't even think it. You promised. Yeah, I know. I promised. Come on, get it down, Marine! Get over that wall! All right, you people, get your faces in the dirt! Eat it, breathe it, get your butt down. You want it shot off? Move! You! That head belongs right there. You see these furrows in the dirt? That's from guys crawling right. Now you make me one. What's your trouble, mushy head, huh? Just let me get my breath. I'll let you get your breath this weekend. You're restricted. Come on, move! How long has he been like that? About two or three weeks, sir. And he seems to be getting worse. How you people came here to work anymore, dope enough? You're all restricted. I want to see you work. Move! Come on, move! Get it on! Come on! And Slater says he's been worse this past week. Brutal, even sadistic. Beating those kids into the ground. And insubordinate. I asked him for his progress report this morning. He said he'd turn it in when he got around to it. He said it was garbage anyway. Well, we can't very well court-martial a Medal of Honor winner. How can we, Captain? You've got a point there, sir. <laughs> have had your instructions in this. Any knucklehead here think he's ready to try? One guy. Now you people think you can fall through your back pockets and rate liberty around here? You're out of your mushy skulls. You're restricted. Lieutenant, I think you're landing on him pretty hard. You would. How's that? Eyes front. These kids are still wet behind the ears. I'll walk into the first bullet that comes along. If you had any combat experience, you're not the only one in the corps who's had combat experience. Well, you couldn't prove it around here. A bunch of rank amateurs push their fat bellies against a desk and think they're fighting a war. That's enough, Jack. These rear echelon marines. Shut up! You two, coach. shut up! It's about quitting time, getting that jeep and ride back with me. Nice. You take over, Captain. I 
I've been uh, I've been doing a lot of listening now. What uh, what is your level with me? What's well, what's the real problem, sir? You've changed, Jack, and I'm sorry to say, not for the better. Is it uh, Carnivan's death? Could be part of it. So you uh, see so you you blame yourself because all of us have dear personal friends over there getting killed. I know a lot of the boys that you've trained here, they're fighting. You're not. Now, is that it? Maybe. Well, if you want combat, why don't you ask for it? I can't. Are you afraid? Colonel knows a damn sight better than that. Well, then, why don't you request a transfer? Peggy's seen a doctor. She's there right now. Well, is it serious? We're going to have a kid. Yeah. Well, that's serious. However, it doesn't change things. You see, you still have to make up your mind. You do your job here or you pull out. I'll cut the orders any time you say. Begging the colonel's pardon. Since when do you need my permission to cut a set of orders? Ever since you won that damn medal. That's all. Yes, ma'am, I'll tell him. Lieutenant, uh, that was your wife. She'd like to fill it up. Yeah, but it should be your wife. Oh. Jack, I was worried. It's 7.30. Am I on a lousy schedule? Like a bunch of clock? No, of course not. Don't read me the time. I'm sorry. Haven't you had enough already? No, I haven't had enough. I'm still sober. Jack, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I'm having my own booze and my own little nest tucked under the wing of my own little wife. That's not fair. Don't talk fair to me. I'm here, aren't I? Nailed down tight by a lot of promises. Nice and safe. Jack. Wet nursing a bunch of green kids. Wiping their noses. You know, that's a roar. Be a Marine. Be a babysitter. What's happened to you? Nothing. Nothing's happened. That's what's wrong. I got... Hot chow and clean sheets and dry clothes. They got me right where you want. Don't you want to know what the doctor said? Okay. I'm going to have a kid. It's another string. One more promise to keep. No. You're wrong. All down the line, you're wrong. There isn't going to be any baby. I... I, I, I didn't... I didn't... We're young. No, I, if you told me, if I'd known... I'd... I'm telling you now, no baby. And no more promises. Not even the ones you made before. On a level? On the level. I won't hold you, not any longer. Honey, you don't know what that means to me. You just don't know. I think I do now. Was it losing the baby? Oh, maybe that was part of it. But there's more than one way you can lose someone. You watch him tearing himself apart because he can't stand living with himself anymore. You try to keep him down with a promise. Keep him from doing what he wants to do. What he has to do. I'll have the baby. When you come back. Oh, you must come back. I don't want to lose you. Where's 
third platoon dog company. Down the beach, area two. Oh, Captain, we've got a boot here that belongs to third platoon. I wonder if you'd mind taking him with you. Go to more. Aye, aye, sir. Pippin, on a double. Lieutenant, I'm Private Pippin. This is Lieutenant Jack Connell, your new platoon leader. Oh, damned if it isn't a pleasure, sir. Glad to have you aboard. Glad to be aboard. Shanghai Jack. The troops are going to go right out of their skulls. Looks like you've taken your first objective. I'll leave you with Tweed. Right, sir. How are they shaping up, Kenny? Uh, they're coming along, sir. Uh, NCOs are mostly veterans. Uh, kids are all tough. We're giving them a hard time. Good. Mason tells me you were the Raiders. They were good. We did all right. A Marine is a Marine, the way I figure it. Good. Then we'll get along. Rack them up, Gunny. Yes, sir. All right, you people, get around! This is your new platoon leader, Lieutenant Shanghai Jack Canal. Yeah! Do you want a canal, Sergeant? Yes, sir. Sergeant Maypole, sir. First Marine. Thought I'd seen you before. Good to have you. Thank you. All right. You know my name, and I'll get to know yours. One thing you may not know, and that's that there's a big operation coming up. I know we've all had it rough, but it's going to get a lot rougher. Because when we hit that beach, we're going to hit it with the best platoon in the Corps. Now, that comes up work. I mean work. So just a friendly word of advice. Get ready to sweat. That's all. Lieutenant, Sergeant Schmidt, sir. Uh, I'd just like to say, well, we'd all like to say, we're happy to have you aboard, sir. Thank you. All right, you people. Off and on. Let's go. Let's go. A couple more days, we'll know if they're ready. They're ready, Lieutenant. They'll do the job. Well, if they don't, we didn't do ours. Uh, Lieutenant, have a beer. Ah, come on, come on. Hey, Roy, bring a couple beers, will you? You know, it's still strange, you know. The whole platoon looking to you for everything. It's not like it was on the canal. I never knew a Mustang yet that didn't feel that way at first. Yeah, the responsibility. It's uh, kind of like a new pair of boondockers. You got to wear them for a while first before they quit hurting. Yeah. Listen, we got the best second John, the best gunny in the Marine Corps. We're going to have the best platoon on the beach. Wait and see. What I like about you, gunny, no false modesty. Who needs it? We're both good and we both know it. I'll drink to that. Lieutenant, been looking for you. You've got a letter. Thank you, Pippin. My wife. Read it. I'm not even here. Everything all right? Not fine. Ah, I'm glad. Because nothing could swallow a good Marine faster than a wife. Not mine. She's the reason I'm here. She wants what I want. Ah, there's only I like. At least two of us. Well, look, Lieutenant, I was just kidding. I mean, uh, you got somebody like that, that's something to go home to. It sure is.
You know, as time goes by. Sure, Lieutenant. Would you play it? Just remember what you've learned. Hit the beach on the run. Get off fast. Move inland about 200 yards and take the grove first. Suppose the bastards don't want to give it to us. You persuade them. You squad leaders. You stay in touch with either Tweet or me the whole time. When that ramp drops, move off on the double. Try not to cut yourself on any beer cans. Shaky, Pippin? Oh, man, my shaky. Yes, sir. I can't move. You'll be all right. Nothing to it. You just remember to do what we told you to do, okay? Thanks, Lieutenant. Stick with me, boy.
reach, Lieutenant Spitzer. You take him on that crow. Right. Fine, All right, people, move out. Come on, get down. Get Bibbins dead. All right, let's move. If I have to carry you. Sign of them? Not a thing, sir. What happened to you? I don't know. Coming off the boat, sir. I don't know. The beach can be pretty tough sometimes. <laughs> Guess it wasn't like that on the canal, huh? That's not it. I just couldn't get squared away. It happens. I guess. Let's just forget about it, huh? Yeah. Lieutenant? Captain's on, sir. Connell, we've reached our primary, sir. Jack, intelligence says they're massing up ahead. We'll have to adjust. Come back here and I'll brief you on the change. Over. Roger. Over and out. Kenny. I think there might be a counterattack. I'm going back to CP. Sure. I want you to understand something. I'm going back on orders. Let's drink some wire out there and stay on your toes. Yes, sir. Hi, you people! Let's get the wire strung out front there. Hey, Paul? Yeah. Put a detail together. All right. Lynch, McLean, Roy, let's go. Remember? Yeah. Get some scalps out there, will you? Hey. Huh? Did you see what happened to the lieutenant on the beach? Are you kidding? I didn't see anything but dirt. You know, he froze. So I wanted to. Yeah, well, you ain't the lieutenant. I'll tell you something, Pally, he chickened out. Damn good thing the gunny was there. The guy that won the medal. 
Maybe he's good to his mother. Big hero. You can have him. Contact Charlie Company. Tell him to stand by. You wanted me, sir? Yeah, I'm damn glad I got you. Come here. Actually, we're pretty much on schedule, but I don't have to tell an old hand like you. The real rough stuff is up ahead. Now, we're dug in on a line about like this. Flicks platoon here, Roby's here, yours here, which puts you right in line with Dead Man's Ridge. Officially, it's known as Ridge 230. Intelligence reports is honeycombed with caves, a lot of them being used for gun emplacements. Now, we had intended to go around the ridge, cut it off, but... Nips are mounting a counterattack coming from both flanks, which means that we'll have to take the damn ridge. Which means that you'll have to take the ridge, Jack. Now, there's a spur that runs along here well in front of the ridge. You can use that. You let me know when you get that far. We lay in a barrage, soften them up. Make your move at dawn, 0635 hours. Aye, aye, sir. No, sir. Look, if you're off your feet. I'm all right. Jack, this ridge is mighty important. You don't have to prove anything. If you don't feel up to snuff, you can be relieved. Will there be anything else? Well, there's a stubby on tracks to support your advance. That's all the heavy stuff I can spare. Questions? No, sir. That's all. Look. Kind of jumpy. This is my first combat. I guess this is all stuff to you. You got a girl, kid? Yes, sir. She's real pretty, too. Where are you from? Southern Ohio. Nelsonville. It's a nice country. It's better than this. Anything's better than this. What do you do there? Sir? At home, with your girl. Oh. Not much. Picnics. Movies. And we fish a lot. Oh, a girl, she handles the trout pretty good. Take my mind off.
Charlie Company. That's not Charlie Company. Stand by, they're coming. Stand by, pass the word. Hey, they're coming, pass the word. Stand by. They're out front, Lieutenant. They're coming in. Get CP. Tell them. Red Dog, this is Red Dog 2, over. Clean them up good. Might need them before the day's up. You did all right last night. Yeah. What happened to the pride of the Marine Corps? Want to give him another medal? All right, get your squad ready to move out. They're ready. Is he? Hey, look, Gunny. 
You talk to our fearless leader and tell him what a pleasure it is to have him for a CO, do you hear? How would you like a fat lip? From you, I'd take it. We move out at 0635. Advance to the spur. Lieutenant, we gotta have a talk. You got a pretty unhappy platoon on your hands. They'll get over it. Like hell they will. Unless you get over it first, whatever it is. Something you wouldn't understand. Try me. Been around this Marine Corps a long time. It has nothing to do with the Corps. Don't hand me that. Now, what is it with you? It's my problem. I'll handle it. Look, I know how the top brass operate. Maybe they blew you up a little. Maybe some of those stories are just snow jobs, but they don't give out the Congressional for changing diapers. And you can fight, why don't you? You're forgetting yourself, sir. I'm not forgetting a damn thing. You are. Look, if I had a sergeant did what you did last night, I'd bust him back to private and run him out for general Enough. court. Stand by to move out. That's an order. Yes, sir. Battle up! Stand by to move out. Lynch! Yo! There she is, Lieutenant. Dead Men's Ridge. Get Lynch. Yes, sir. Get back. Tell him to take cover. Red Dog 1, this is Red Dog 2. Come in. This is Red Dog. Have you reached your primary? We've reached our primary, sir. We're holding up for the barrage. Artillery on its way. Yes, sir. Over and out. Don't look too bad. Bastards are in those caves and in that bunker. How do we get them out? This time, do us all a favor, will you? Stick around for the show. What kind of crack is that? Let me spell it out for you. on the canal. It was rough there, too. Just as rough as here. Those old guys that had it right. The Spartans. First you did your hits in the army, then the wedding bells. What's that got to do with it? You're married now. That's the way you got to figure, Lieutenant. On the canal, you didn't have any family. No nothing. Just only the Corps. Look, Red Lieutenant. Dog two, wait a minute. I got Captain Mason here. Come in. Over. Red Dog 2. Are you in position to move out? Yes, sir. We're ready. You still be on track. Should be on your left flank about now. After you take the ridge, hold for Charlie Company. They will relieve. Aye, aye, sir. Out. Time to move out. Lieutenant, stow it. Tell the men to move it. All right, you people! Let's move out! Let's make it stick! Tweed knows what he's doing. 
I'm glad somebody does.
after the big one. We'll meet cover. This'll do. Part two of it. All right, we'll keep him busy. You two, down there with me. You two, stay up here. Come on, come on. us to do next year. We'll secure that. We'll leave a fire team. Aye, aye, sir. You heard the lieutenant? Let's go. Got a hole in my back. They did pretty good. They did fine. You and me, we might make a platoon out of them yet. Could be. What happened to you? Just like you said. On a canal, I was alone. Now I got Peggy. Hell, I didn't want her to lose me. That's good. That's good thinking. You keep thinking like that, and you'll live a hell of a lot longer. You know, the guy that really deserves a decoration is the one that's too scared to move and does it anyway. Yeah. Lieutenant Canal, Captain Mason wants you over the ridge. We stepped in it pretty bad. You tell him we'll be there on a double. Aye, aye, sir. All right, you people. Off and on. We're moving out. Short war, Lieutenant. Short war, Gunny. Shanghai. You scared? You bet I am. Beyond this ridge, Saipan waits to be secured. Then Tenian, Guam, Iwo Jima, Okinawa. Soon to be grim and bloody names. Some men will come back, and others will not. But the Corps will go on into other times and other troubles. Always ready when the nation calls. Always faithful. Proud to be the first to fight.